Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in, Jacob of Paradox Multimedia, and welcome back to another Paradox Music Critique. Today we're going to be checking out another Jack the Hack album, this time not Amy Bell. This is actually going to be for Static Monarch, another one of his monikers. This album called Aurora Vindicta, which I believe came out about a week ago, a week or two ago. And this one he had told me was coming out because he actually had me record something for this. So I'm interested to see how he used it because I didn't listen to any of it yet. I don't, I don't believe he ever sent me the track that he used it for to like listen to how it was being used or whatever, or what it was gonna sound like. So this is going to be as much a surprise for everyone else as it is for me, or maybe such those. Anyways, so yeah, I have not listened to any of his music released under Static Monarch yet. So this will be interesting because he said each of his monikers kind of has a different style. And so far I've only listened to Amy Bell uh, and then Dark Side of the Internet, which I believe was just normal Jack the Hack music. We'll give this a listen. But of course, if you enjoy this, let me know if there's any other music by Jack that I should check out under any of his monikers or just by him. Or if you're an artist and you want me to check out your stuff, let me know. And also, if you have a favorite artist, let me know. Also, be sure to check out the playlist so you can see my previous critiques on Jack's music and just in general. Also, check out my original music and all the stuff in the description. Without much further ado, let's check out Aurora Vindicta. Here we go. First track, Prologue. Interesting. Walk in the dark valleys with tallies like Sally May. Loading it just to call it cool themselves with blue or hodgepodge. I got my used to who was like a mother and basically was. That's a ruin of enemy just because of money. She had some, no nothing, but she had some. No gun, but had a gun. I was a trigger that made her flicker. Dreams of a golden casino may not be like, but could see through. Bouncing off the walls like MJ before a thrill is go. On the marketplace in the streets with men and cheats and beats for half a heart to get started to get behind. To make it sturdy like some fancy Nike shoes. The cleats kind. Just a visit to find it again. I'm just fine. Listen to the message. It was quite defined, like a nice signature on a waiver to sign. It was like the cosign to my tangent. I'm going tangent and go seek it and seek it and sign. I'm more of a waveform sauce and type of guy. Like on this a track, weird kind of like rose, hip hop. But also a little bit like drum and bass earlier on. Throwing stones at kids' knees. Until we get stabbed. Artificial uh, deepening. The music is good, but the vocals and the lyrics are something else. <laughs> On my bed for later. Girl. I would assume this is Jack because he doesn't have like featuring anybody but I don't know this is just the prologue or at least yeah this is still just the prologue <laughs> Hmm. 
Not yet. So the prologue was very interesting, to say the least. I was not expecting the full-on, like, rap and everything. Uh, definitely some funny bits of just, like, the pauses and the enunciation of everything. It's <laughs> It was enjoyable, but I'm not sure in quite the way it was intended. But the music, the, like, the instrumentation was, the instrumental was good. I like that. I'll give that a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, let's hear Enter the Dream. Okay, so we got another kind of like hip hop sound. Some kind of stuttery or like syncopated horns. Like trumpets or some kind of brass. Okay, she dropped the ball. What is going on with this album? This is not at all what I expected from this, especially from like the picture. That's a long track name, uh, but previous track, the Enter the Dream, interesting sound. I don't think I liked it as much as the prologue. I'm really not sure what to think of this rapping that's going on because like it rhymes, I guess, but the flow is really weird and like, I'm just, what is going on? I'm sure this has something to do with, like, the lore or the story or whatever he's trying to tell this, but, like, I'm not following, like, at all, except for, like, the random bits. I'll give that one a 5 out of 10. Let's see if a golden, a golden casino that resides in the back of a waterfall manages to rescue this thing. Oh, boy. Okay, nature ambience. That's a good start. Of at least like something different. <laughs> this sounds like the soundtrack to a Donkey Kong game. What? I'm just waiting for the like, hey, 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 hey.
What? What am I listening to? What is going on? <laughs> This feels like a musical depiction of the book of numbers from the Bible. <laughs> background sums like uh action or like side scroller fighting game from like the 90s and we got this guy making a hole in the middle <laughs> i don't know if this is supposed to be funny or not <laughs> like is what is this about A golden casino that resides in the back of a waterfall. What is this? How is this supposed to depict that? <laughs> I am so confused. What is even... Okay. I don't know what to think of this one. This is getting so strange. <laughs> Usually, like, there's a feel to the J to Jack's music that gives you an impression of like what's supposed to be going on, even if you don't understand the full context. And that's just like the first three songs are just all over the place. I I don't know what is supposed to be going on, <laughs> especially with this one. That name is just so weird. A golden casino that resides in the back of a waterfall. And yet the whole song is... And you got... Make a hole in the middle. And a woman counting. <laughs> what? I... I guess I'll give that like a five as well. Because I... That's really weird because five out of ten for me is like meets expectations essentially. But I don't know what to expect from this. So I guess it doesn't meet expectations, but it's not a bad song. It's just confusing. Anyways, next we have Bounce. Not at all the first thing I expected to hear. Okay. Where are you taking this? This piano sounds a little off to me, but that bass is pretty good. I hope it does more, though.
What's with the like kazoo sound though? Interesting use of an organ. He's using that so that sound that people use when they try to emulate Dia game style. Or at least it sounds similar to that. What did you do? Interesting song. Did not feel bouncy. Uh, I'm not really sure what the connection there was. Sounded all right, but was very repetitive. However, it's the one song that hasn't had anything like super weird or out there in it, I guess. So I'll give that one a uh, seven out of 10. Let's see what this next one is. Listen to it. I'm going to, I don't know if I want to <laughs> at this point, but I'm going to listen to it. Dun, 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 dun. I was going to start doing like the jellyfish song. I don't remember it very well off the top of my head, but. Oh, that's what it's saying. I'm gonna say it, this kinda of sounds like a villain song. Like, just the minor tone of it, and also the repeating listen to it thing kinda of sounds propaganda ish. Listen to it. Listen to it. I'd like to hear this in like a minor, uh, my, my, it's in a minor key, I'm pretty sure. Hear it in a major key and see how different it sounds. Na, 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 
Bonus. So listen to it. Um, six out of ten. Halftime piano. Oh boy. What is this? It's called halftime piano, not every other beat is missing piano. One out of ten. Persephone. I feel like I might have heard this before in like his set he did for one of Blue's last festivals.
Yeah, the flow is weird. That melody feels really out of place. This song is so repetitive. Oh, I was willing to give this one an okay score, but then, like, I'm sitting here, like, slowly losing my grip on consciousness, and it's like, oh no, it's (laughs) happening again. (laughs) Starting to fall asleep during another critique of Jack. So, yeah, uh, I think there's something to be said when your song is so long and repetitive that it starts to put somebody to sleep when they're listening to it. Regardless, uh, I'm going to put that as a 5 out of 10, buddy. So, here we go. Apology Tour. What's the apology for? Putting people to sleep? So it's slightly more lively. Okay, so it's the second to last song that I'm on.
I don't really like the message there. Just the way he ends, like, phrases is kind of weird. <sighs> Stay awake. <laughs> Wait, is this an automaton? I just realized. Apology tour. Not really feeling the vocals, man. The vocal performance is kind of eh, like in all of these tracks so far. And I feel like this one was really simple musically. Personally, I think the other ones did have something going for them because they did have like some other stuff going on. But this, aside from the automaton, really just kind of felt like it was just drums and bass, which you can do a lot with drums and bass, but you didn't do a lot here. At least not from my interpretation. So I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. Let's see how Adam Evans fares. OK, 
Okay, this one's better. Harmony is kind of whack. I do like that bell synth, though. Okay, the drums there were, I think that was some good work. Okay, Adam Evans, enjoyable. I think that is his best vocal performance on this album, possibly that I have heard from him. A little repetitive there with the vocals, but it was catchy, so I guess that kind of balances it out. I also really like that melody and like the bell synth. The... That was pretty good. I like that. That one, I will give a 7.5 out of 10. Now, let's move on to Do You Miss Me Now? Is this the sad song? that bell was it like a xylophone or something glockenspiel something
after school. <laughs> All right. What? that day. Maybe you should talk to me more. What? That way you'll finally get a sliver of me. And what's in store for my future? You don't even know about who or what I like. And yet you so desperately. Want to reconcile when we're nothing alike Don't chase me now that I'm older You never cared before this point in time Why do you suddenly care now? I don't want your foe or your loveless crime <laughs> That crack you were supposed to be there I'm sorry, could you sing that again? I didn't quite catch that. Maybe if he wasn't losing so much in, like, the higher parts, that would probably work better as a harmony, but you just got the mid-range sounding not too much different from the higher range, and then the low range just being on its own, basically. I do kind of like that flute, though. It does clash a little bit with the bell, though. Now there's some, like, piano that's, like, clashing with it a little bit as well. So it kind of seems like they're all fighting to be heard, and they're all kind of, like, in the higher range, so... Okay. 
So Do You Miss Me Now, I feel like was on a good track. Then the vocals came in, which, I mean, they're not as bad as some of the other songs, but still not super great. You could hear his voice crack a few times and just like, he's got this weird cadence and enunciation. And it's just like, ah, could get another take. There's like literally one part where it sounds like he just like stops before he finishes what he's saying. I'm going to give that one a 5 out of 10. All right, now here's the one I've been waiting for, Nature Fallen. This is a long one, oh boy, but also this is the one that I recorded for. So let's see. Again, all I did was uh, I read the lines he gave me, I recorded them, and that's all I know. So let's see what he did. Ooh, a little tremolo, some choir. Let's see how this goes. I mean, so far, it's got my attention. It's like very serious. Intense, too. Might have limited that there a little bit. Started to peak just a bit. Violin's getting a little more dissonant. Atmospheric kind of background there is getting louder and more prominent. The choir a little less somber. You know, a little bit of a drone. Is this the same song? Okay, I thought you were really building just something. It's me. You've doomed our life and what comes after. You've doomed us. Our home is no longer safe. We must flee to another place that we may be together for the rest of our days. To a place where we may find rest, wherever that is. I have done no wrong. I have only done what is right. Right? They'll kill us, Nebuli. Maul us, eat us alive. Don't you understand? We're done for! We can evade them for now, but one day, they'll find us. And when they do, you won't be the only person whose blood will be spilled. Ooh. This is your fault. Why couldn't you do one simple job correctly? Why couldn't you do your one simple job correctly? 
I hope you burn with the traitors and adulterous nebulae. Goodbye and good riddance. Okay. Or sing us to hide. <laughs> mm, that was a little forced. Do you say falling faster than lightning? There's a little hard to understand him there. The bass got serious. Nature Fallen. I think that was the best one so far. And no, it's not because I had a part in it. I wasn't so sure about the tone shift. I was hoping it was going to be played like totally seriously there. And it kind of was, but the change from the more like doom and gloom atmospheric sound to the more expected kind of sound is like, eh, I kind of wish he kept that for a bit longer. 
but I guess it works with the way he used it. The singing part here was all right. Uh, I don't think it was the best, but I really like the music a lot, despite it being a little repetitive. Uh, it did have its moments, though, where it hit the tone perfectly. So I'm going to give that one a, an 8 out, 8 out of 10. So we're going to check out the final track, Dawn Revenge. Is that like a barrel sound? It's like a knocking on a barrel kind of sound. Interesting drum pattern. Okay. I like where he's starting to go with that bass. Is that bass or is that just like a low end synth? I can't tell. That's a bass. Are we going anywhere though? Right as I say that. This is getting to be boringly repetitive. As I say that, the bass gets a little more interesting. <laughs> it's 
still not really taking it anywhere though. as epic as it made it sound like it was going to be from the title. It's also taking it how long? Like, half the song to really, like, get to a point where it feels like it's building anything. Sounds like he's added a couple new sounds to the beat. Took a while to get that piano in. Is it starting to fade out? But there's still like three minutes. Or like two and a half minutes. What is he going to do for the next two and a half minutes? that pad rising. Some sort of textural sound. Still got like a minute, man. Please tell me you're not going to be playing a minute intermittently interrupted by barrel sounds. I'm just waiting for like the metal pipe clanging noise.
going to give that one a 4 out of 10. It was too long, it was too slow to build up, too little variation, and too little to hold my attention. <clears throat> this was a very trying one to get through, in part because of the vocal performances not being super great in a lot of them. Some of them, they were better. They were better, like, timed, pace, not paced. Yeah, better timed in just, like, the phrasing and, like, the separation of, like, certain words and just overall, I don't know. It's hard to really describe because they're all pretty similar. The only difference is, like, the words he's saying and maybe the rhythm a little bit. Musically, this was fine for the most part. Some things were a little more simple, some things paced not great. Overall, not his worst, but certainly not his best, in my opinion. Well, what do you think? Do you think this is a good change of pace from the Amy Bell stuff? Do you enjoy this more than the Amy Bell stuff, or do you think the Amy Bell stuff is better? Do you not have a preference? Let me know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified when I release my next song or next critique video. Be sure to leave a like on this if you enjoyed, and also be sure to check out the playlist so you can check out my thoughts on Jack's other music and on the other artists I've checked out. If you want me to check out any of Jack's other music, or if you want me to check out a different artist or if you're an artist and you want me to check out your music be sure to leave a comment letting me know also just check out my other content uh my music and stuff uh check out stuff linked in the description and that is about it for this one so i hope you have a great day we're ever seeing this and i'll see you next time bye